everybody, and welcome to Something You Should Practice this weekend. This weekend, as is often the case, I was talking to a student and a whole thing came up and now I have to share it with you. So here's what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna do a lick. It could be a fill or a little ending lick for a break or something like that in a bluegrass song. And we're gonna do it in the key of G. But it came up because this student and I were talking about parallel fifths. And when we use that term in bluegrass on the fiddle, we're talking about putting your one, one finger on two strings, because since the fiddle is tuned in fifths, if you put one finger on two strings, that interval is a fifth. I don't have a very big third finger, so it's hard to get that one. All right, there we go. So that sound is pretty common in bluegrass, and we try to use it often, some fiddlers more than others, but it's something that a lot of you I know haven't really delved into, so I wanna give you a specific lick. But I also wanna make the point, this student was asking about using a parallel fifth within a lick kind of similar to this, and saying, but the two notes in the parallel fifth don't fit perfectly in the chord, so the music theory is all off. And that's when I got the opportunity to say, yeah, that's why we try not to ever talk about music theory when it comes to bluegrass and old time, because it just gets you into trouble. So there are some things that defy the laws of music theory, but they still sound super cool and super bluegrassy. And this is one of them. That's the lick we're gonna use, but here's our parallel fifth. Double first finger on A and E. So we're in the key of G, right? And so we're using B, which is in the G chord, and F sharp, which is definitely not in the G chord, but don't worry about it. Just don't worry your pretty little head about any of it, doesn't matter. It still sounds cool and it's a very bluegrassy sound. So here's the lick. So we're gonna kind of slide up and back down into the open A and E over to the D3, one, two, one, D open, G3, low G2, and slide back into regular two, leave it and add G, or add D3. So it's three, four. you want. You want that slightly dissonant F sharp up against the G. It's a really cool bluegrass sound. It's classic and I promise you will not get in trouble. The music theory police are nowhere near here. No one has called them. They can't hear you. So we've got a little faster. Three, four. <laughs> So go throw that lick somewhere in a G tune today and you will have a great time with it and everybody will think you're very, very cool. And as we know, that's all we really want. Happy fiddling, everybody.